Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Pamela and this is Teacher Pamela Plans where we do everything from crafting to teaching ideas to planning and goal setting and believing and so much more. Today we are going to do my setup for March. I'm super excited about this setup this time you guys. So jump on board with me while we set up for March. So I'm going to be using a classic size planner that's seven by nine and a quarter and I use discs. So I use disc bound so that I can be flexible about what I put in and out. And so I'm gonna be using these discs. They are one and a half inch discs and I got them on Amazon. And I think they work really nicely. This month, this is what the cover looks like. Okay, so I will tell you, I use mostly Jane's Agenda. There's a subscription box that she has for a monthly subscription box. I get the deluxe box each month and most of my decor will be from her. Okay, so what I love about Jane's Agenda is all the layering that goes on in there. So this is the cover. Now you can see it's crystal clear. I will say like that's just wrinkling from the film on the back that I'm not taking off until I get it all put together. And this is the Nourish and Flourish cover. Now I don't always use the cover that she gives us, but I am going to do that this month because I just really like it. And I like that it has a theme and I am just obsessed with themes. <laughs> I love themes. So this month in the actual subscription, all about physical and mental wellness. All right, so I am using this beautiful, gorgeous, allegedly gray wrap to wrap everything up in. This is also Jean's agenda. Ooh, ah. It's got the beautiful snap, it's magnetized, and it's got two pen holders. Let's count them, one, two, on both sides. Love it. And even space for decoration. So I'm gonna be using that in just a second. So I'm just gonna show you that. And now I am gonna decorate, ooh, look at that front. Gorgeous. Now I'm gonna decorate this front side. Next up, I usually put in this amazing quote card holder. Now this was from an, a previous box from Jane's Agenda. I absolutely love it, but each time she gives us some different quotes. These were my quotes for January, and I'm gonna add my ones now for March. some different ones on here. I have, I'm sorry for what I said when it was winter. <laughs> I have metanoia, which is the Greek term for the journey of changing one's mind, heart, self, or way of life, spiritual conversion. We have wherever you are, be all there, Jim Elliott. Give yourself time, trust the magic of new beginnings, run the day. Hear me roar, first you dream, then you do. Don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds that you plant. Thinking that it's springtime, so we're talking about the seeds that we're planting. Astronomy compels the soul to look upwards and lead us from this world to another, Plato. And it's already yours, the universe. So those are what I have so far. Pretty cool. Next up, I'm putting in my word of the year. So my word of the year is believe. I put it on this acetate. I created this myself in Canva. So this is the other part of the cover that you're given. It's actually the back cover, but I'm gonna use it here. So here is my believe. So pretty. And I like how that looks with both 
sides of this. It, it turns out really well with that. All right. And then on the back of that, I'm going to put my whole contents page. I haven't shown you this. I just did it and added it because I've kind of mixed and matched what I put for my contents. So here it is. I put it on some vellum. Same thing. I created it on Canva. I put it on this side so that I can have it on this double sided dashboard and so then I can see what's going on for the next thing. So I'm going to be using these as my dividers this time. I think they're really pretty and spring like and I think they will work well. And so my first section is my inbox section. So that's what that looks like together. I'm going to be adding in this inbox. So this I use to put things that are going on in that week just so that I can look at it and reference it super quickly. If I'm like, oh, did I have an appointment today? Something going on? I put it right here with sticky notes. And then I also have this in acetate, my inbox sheet. Here's my divider for my inbox, and then you turn it, and there's my inbox. On the back of here is going to be my planner routine. Again, I did vellum, and I created this myself. I definitely, definitely want to get the some videos for my planner routine up moving forward. And I say that every time, and then I don't do it, and I apologize. But it's going to take a lot for me to figure out how, how to do it strategically. The next I have an envelope and I put receipts in there for my business or anything that is going on with my kids. You know, if they bring home a flyer of some sort, I stick it in here and then that way when I get to it, I get to it. And that's why it's in the inbox. And then behind that, I'm going to have another dashboard. And so that's gonna look like that with the layering. So pretty. Very spring-like. All right, so I need to have my inbox here on this side. And then directly opposite it, I'm putting my brain triggers. So here are my brain triggers that I use. I put them directly opposite there. So that works out really well. So again, I created all of these as kind of a theme on Canva. And so then I directly have it opposite my inbox so that when I go to write my inbox stuff, I have my ideas here. I also am having a couple ideas that I'm mixing things up and moving things around a little bit this month. So I am going to put also my reminders after my inbox. So Jane's Agenda gave us these in a box as well. There's annual reminders, there's seasonal reminders, and there's quarterly reminders. So these will also help kind of with brain dumping. I'm just putting them behind my inbox. To reference. So that is section one, my inbox. Okay, so now we're ready for part two or section two. And section two for my planner is my goal section. I'm gonna add this divider here. And then this is the dashboard that I have for this section to make living itself an art. That is the goal, Henry Miller. I'm gonna add some pictures of progress for my health there, which I haven't even started putting them on there yet, but I need to do that. On top of that, just to add a little bit of layering, I'm going to add this vellum dashboard. It's laminated. I think that's kind of cute and simple. I'm going to add my manifestation journal inserts. And before those, I'm going to add in my vision board. I have not put that in yet. 
and I just finished it up this past month. So I'm going to add my vision board into my planner. So I created this on Canva, but I am in Wild University and they are the ones that put on the Wild Conference each year. So in Wild University, there are lots of different things that you can look at and learn from other planners and other sources. And so this is one of the things that they did this year was a vision board and they gave you an outline for it, which I'm super excited for this template because it worked perfectly for what I wanted to do this year. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in and then I'll talk more about it. All right, so for my vision board this year, I put my 2024 goals and motivation and I have them separated into the eight Moxie Life sections, which I have personal, fun and recreation, work and learning, family and relationships on this page. And then on this page, I have health and wellness, spiritual growth, financial, and physical environment. So those are my areas of life. One of the things that I also did this year was I created some kind of affirmations for the year. And so I used my Moxie Life companion notebooks and I did a vision board in there as well, looking at the different areas. When I did my questionnaire at the beginning of the year, the assessment scoring, I highlighted those things that I wasn't doing really that great in, my lowest scores. And then that was part of my vision board here. I added them here. So then I kind of added those in to wording about each one. So for example, for personal, I said I'll give my gr myself grace for the limits and imperfections and enjoy alone time and self-care. So that's what I put for that because that's kind of what I need to work on. And so it's an affirmation that I'm, I'm going to do a good job of that. Work and learning. I expand my skills and have an actionable plan to support the success I desire. Fun and recreation. I make time for the things that bring me joy and reward myself for my accomplishments. Family and relationships. I have clarity and peace in areas I feel I am lacking. And I'm present with family and friends. Health and wellness. I put, I take care of my health. Feel strong in body and mind, eat well and drink well, and have healed from trauma. Spiritual growth, I have found peace and forgiveness. I engage in regular spiritual practice, practice gratitude, and invest time in my spiritual growth. Financial, I acquire wealth, sp spend responsibly, and have a plan for the future. And then physical environment, I put, I have a clean, safe, clutter fleet. Clutter, clutter free space in which I feel organized and supports positive energy and success. So that's kind of what I have in there so that when I look at my vision board, I can also have some affirmations in each of those areas and focus on the things that I want to do this year. So it's super cute and fun, and I really just like the way it's designed and set up. So, yay! All right, so then I have my manifestation insert. This is from Jane's Agenda. I filled this out for my physical body because that's the main thing I need to work on this year. And it's for what you're manifesting, what you're grateful for, and then a visualization of I see, I have, I feel. And then there's an action plan. What are you gonna do to make this happen? And then the daily affirmations. So I really love this insert. It helps me to visualize. I really need to work on the action plan though. That's coming up this month. So I have that. So the next thing in my planner, I created this. This is the life level life tracker. And I did this also with my Moxie Life goals. So these are just a place where I've written all my annual goals and then I can chart their progression. Some of these things are not that measurable, but at least it gives me a visual of what's going on and how I can somewhat get there. So basically, if I read all my book club books, then I can check that one off. Create and maintain an evening routine, then I can check that one off. So, I mean, they are measurable. It's just, <laughs> it's a lot. So we'll see how I get there coming up. 
So these are some inserts from Jane's Agenda that she gave us. And it's really a gold tracker in general. So she gave us these quarterly inserts. And so I've written down what I wanted to accomplish in January, what my quarterly focus was, Mar or sorry, February, and then March, I want to gain a healthy lifestyle. So I'm really focused in on healthy living this month. And I think this is going to be kind of cool to use along with the themes that are going into the planner. So I've kind of done that a little bit, like decreasing debt, January's unboxing for Jane's agenda was all about finance. So that worked out really well. This one was more about time management, but I focused on some fun things. And then this one's going to be my healthy lifestyle. So then I went into more detail about how I'm going to get this healthy lifestyle. And so this is what I'm going to be working on for March, my 90 day goal. So there's that. And then I have some more of those inserts for later. I'm probably going to need to adjust this a little bit and adapt, but overall it's pretty good. This is my ideal day as well. So that ends this section. And then I'm ready for my third section, which is my self-care section. So I'm going to add my divider here. And this section is going to look a little bit differently than it usually does because I'm adding some different inserts. All right, so first up is this beautiful layering of the cupcake and balance. So that is going to go first for my decorative dashboard slash functioning dashboard. On the back are the macro nutrient conversions here. So this kind of gives you some... Some interesting insight into how much protein these items have, how much carbohydrates and fats and fiber. Now, I use Weight Watchers, so I won't totally be using that, but I'm going to somewhat be using that. Then I have my mood tracker. So usually I track happy, joyful, accomplished, productive, normal, okay, tired, sick, angry and anxious. So that's what moods I track here. And this is really super cool. It's from Etsy and it's watercoloring. So I found that on Etsy, these mood trackers, and I just love it per month. Normally here is where I add my self care inserts. And normally what I've been using I'll show you an excerpt of what it looks like. They look like this. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And they have a section for mind, body, and soul with your weight and what you've been eating, steps, exercises, water, and sleep. And then it also has a section for gratitude and notes. And I really enjoy using these. But... This month is a little bit different because Jane's agenda is focusing on self-care in general and your physical body more than anything. We have some fun inserts this month and for the next three months. So I'm going to probably be trying to use these for the next three months and kind of get a solidified way of working of moving forward because it's also almost swimsuit season you guys and I'm just definitely not there so we have a dossier section that she gave us and she gave us these dividers which I'm really excited about if you want to know more about what that dossier section looks like then please watch my unboxing because I go into more detail about each of these sections in that but basically, this is just going to give you some goals and a vision board, some measurements and weight logging, as well as some healthy habits and quotes that you can use. Then there's a nutrition section, and that's where she uses the macros log for your nutrition. And for me personally, I don't know that I'm going to be using the macro slogging, but I am going to be tracking what I'm eating. 
So it gives you a section for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, and your totals there. But there's also an other section there that I'll probably use for tracking my points. And I could also look up the macros for each of those things later. You know, like I I might do that some weeks. I'm not so I'm not sure. The other thing that I have here is a tip in. I've decided I think I'm going to put that in a different place. So I'm moving them to the side here. I'm going to put that with the activity. So this is all the nutrition. And then I have activity. So for my activity inserts, these are very simple. They're just AM and PM and kind of weekly. So now I don't have to put all of these in here and I might take some out because I don't need all of these, but I like the idea of having it all together for, for three months, but I just may not have the room for it and that's okay. So for these, I'm going to add in towards the beginning of these activity logs. I want to have my tip-ins. And these are just my routine tip-ins. So I really like having an AM and PM routine to fill out. So I'm going to have some of those. So that will be my self-care first part of my section, my inserts. I also like to add in movies that I'm watching and shows that I'm watching. This was a very old Jane's Agenda insert, but I really love it. Um, I didn't use it before, so these are some movies and things that I still want to watch. And there's plenty because I can put some on the back too. Then I have a list of my favorite things just to have in here so that, you know, when I'm looking for something to do that is for self-care, I have a list. And next comes my reading inserts. So the first part of this is actually from Etsy, Emily Simply Living. And so I have these inserts here that are the bookshelf as well as the book of the year. So what I've been going through, which one of these is my favorite. And then I have books to read, just suggestions of that people have given. And this is from Jane's Agenda. And then I also have some reviews of different books that I've read. I just have two so far, January, February. I'm going to put those in there as well. And then I need to add a new insert for this time coming around. So this will be the insert for the book that I'm currently reading, which is called The First Ladies. So it's a historical fiction book. And it is about Eleanor Roosevelt and one of her friends. And it's all about civil rights. So, very interesting read. So we have that. And we are going to go to the next section. Now I am ready for section four, which is my schedule. And actually, the next thing that I put in there is my moon phases. I kind of put them at the end of the self-care section because part of my self-care is my moon rituals. So I put that there, but it's also kind of a scheduled calendar thing. So you're kind of both. I'm gonna put this little background to it. Super cute looking with that layering. And then I'm going to add, so I created that as well on Canva, just to have the different moons and the moon phases. So for my lunar calendar, like I really have enjoyed having, you know, the different themes of the moons too. So if you're interested in knowing what I do for that, I do have one video up, but um, you can let me know if you want more of that. Moving to scheduling, I've got the divider here. And we're gonna go to March. So this is gonna be layered and it's going to look awesome. 
on the back of this, it has a 31 day activity challenge that I just might do some of the things on there. I think it'd be cool. So here is what that looks like. I love it with that layering to make living itself an art. That is the goal. So super cute. And then I used some different inserts here that you're going to see in just a second. But I use this to tape because this is Jane's Agenda. This is their her executive monthly that I use. I don't like the front of it. I don't use the front of it. I want my planner to be crisp and clean in transition. So I am going to be gluing these two pages together. So it just says March turns over and there is the March monthly. So we start out with that and then this will also be glued down. And then I end up starting with March itself. And actually I may even just take this page out because I'm not possibly going to use it. I don't know. And here we start March, really. So these are from Plum Paper, and they are the vertical priorities. I really enjoy them because it has a place for habits, it has a place for to-dos, priorities, and then the rest of it I kind of fill in with things that I have going on in the day. Down here I usually put in my dinners, and so it's all set up, and I love it. After that, I'm gonna add in some hourlies. I don't always add in hourlies, but I am going to be doing that just to be able to plan out and schedule my day specifically. I will say with these hourlies, the one thing I have to adjust the times because my times are way different. I don't give it up at five. And so I have a later evening, so I'd rather have these be down here. So I get up at seven, so seven starts my day. So I white these out and I just rewrite them and it's not a big deal. And who starts their day at 5 a.m. on a Saturday and Sunday? Y'all are crazy. <laughs> I'm sure there's people out there that do, but not me. Okay, I used to, like, start the day day like that, but never the weekends. I am a sleeper. I am a night owl. So tell me down below, are you, are you for night owl or are you for getting up early and being an early bird? All right. So that is my schedule section. So I just have the monthly, the weekly, and the hourly in that section. Next up is my faith section. I'm going to add in some layering. I think this is so pretty. This was from July and it just makes me think of summer and I wanna think of summer. I love summer. Summer I'm obsessed with. And this is Be Your Own Light. So pretty. All right. I haven't started yet, but I'm going to be doing some of these scriptures to memorize. Still haven't gotten there yet. Someday. Okay. So, yeah. All right. So there is that. Super cute. And I have some little pages here that are from Etsy in order to practice lettering and writing those. I'm just going to add those in. It says observations. I won't put observations there. Honestly, I'll just put the scripture day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, etc. For that, the next thing I have are some plum paper inserts. They are really amazing. They look like this. And so far, I'm just really enjoying using them for my study. I do Wesley Covenant Group, which is a Bible study. Right now, we are doing a study on the letters of John. So I have that information above. I can show you that. I can't show you what's below here because it's about people and their prayer requests and things like that. And so that's not even my information to give. So I'm definitely not going to show you guys that. But this is the scripture, for example, and the lesson you have the anointing. And so then just some of my thoughts and notes on that. And so that's what we've been working on in our in my Wesley Covenant group. But the other sections for this actual insert, which I really love, is praise and gratitude Answered prayers, which I really love that it has that on there, and who you're praying for. 
So I've been using these inserts and I really, really like it. If you're interested in the Bible study that I'm doing currently, it's the Letters of John by N.T. Wright. So that's what we are doing. And then I'm going to add in just some journaling pages. So these are some happy planner fun like dot grid. And then there's like this journaling page that I did get from a faith extra thing from happy planner. All right. Then the next section is my home section. Home sweet home. All right. So I'm going to be adding in this cute little dashboard and I'm going to put spring cleaning as my layering because we getting into spring and it's time for some spring cleaning. I'm not looking forward to it, but that's okay. <laughs> not a, I'm not a fond of cleaning. I don't like it, but it has to be done. So here is, and it feels good afterwards. I just, the process of it is annoying to me. This is an actually goal centered insert, but I use it for the schedule of my kids and what they have going on. So this is really helpful because I have a kid that's in elementary school in kindergarten, and then I have a kid that's in seventh grade. So we have some age gap there and different things going on. So my older kid has a lot more project based things going on. And like when things are due, a lot of times it's spread out a little bit. And so I put it in here so that I know what's going on. He's somebody that needs some assistance in that area. So I need to make sure that I know what's up. And then, you know, just the regular schedule of the calendar of school and just extra things that happen during the school. So my kindergartner usually has some little extra things. So I put that in here. So I love that insert because it helps with that, keeping it regulated. Then I have cleaning. So this is the clean mama routine. So I'll show you what I'm going to be doing for now. It kind of gives you a start with daily cleaning what you should do and then weekly cleaning what you should do on this page. And then it gives you some other routines and task lists and things and trackers even. And I haven't been tracking, but I will start because what I'm going to do, it also has monthly focuses. So we're going to look at March and March it has a spring cleaning focus. So I'm going to be focusing on these things for spring cleaning. So I love that it has a list of things to help me out with that as well as my weekly and daily cleaning. And I'm going to be adding those in what my task lists are and any additional things that I see around me. And I'm like, oh, yikes, I need to clean that. So I actually use this perpetual planner for that. So this came with the executive monthly. If you order all of those from Jane's Agenda, then you get this as well. And it just comes with it. So I'm like, okay, I think I'm going to use this for my cleaning tasks. I still haven't used it. <laughs> But I'm going to start uh, using that to help me. And at, what, at the end there, it has a task list as well. So in 2025. So if you ever need to know what's going on in 2025, it has a calendar there for you. And then the last part of this section is my social media section. I haven't totally gotten started on that either. This is plum paper as well. But I'm going to be using this a little bit more. It has some monthly planning, which I really like because then I can figure out, okay, what do I want to be working on for this month as far as my videos. All right, moving on to the next section. And so this is actually the ending cover, but I'm going to put this here because I'm out of those dashboards or excuse me, dividers. So I'm going to put this in here because it pokes out more and I can get to that a little bit more easily when it comes to like the finance section. So that'll be kind of cool because now that'll be section seven. And look at that. So it's pretty cute. Okay. This has some health and wellness affirmations. I know that doesn't really go with my financial section, but that's okay. So finance was January's Jane's agenda. So we have some dividers here to help us out with that. There's a budget section. 
So in here, I keep my family's month, excuse me, my family's just budget in general. So my family budget. She and and wish list. So I actually have a wish list of things that I want. So I'm gonna be writing in that because we have some things that I would like to get with our tax refund. And then this is an insert that I haven't transferred my information onto yet, so I can show it to you. But it says January monthly budget. I'm not gonna do a monthly budget, honestly. I'm just gonna do a regular budget budget. Uh where it's like this is basically what we spend it each month so I'm not going to show you my actual one it's like that the next section is expenses so there's a divider for the expenses and there I keep my personal and my business expenses as well as my student loan information because I specifically pay for that so I'm not going to show those things. I'm sorry. But you can look at the January inserts to see what they look like. If you want to look at the Jane's Agenda um, boxing, unboxing, you'll see what those inserts actually look like. Because those are the ones I'm using. And then there's also a debt section. And I haven't actually used these yet. But I think it would help to keep track of debt. So I can show you that one because I haven't used it. This is Q1 where your debt at is. And so I am going to ask my husband about that so that I can figure that out. Because I'm pretty excited we have done some good things moving forward. So I'd like to see the progress of that on here. But he's my financial guru because he is a CPA. So I let him take care of that stuff. But it would be interesting, I think, to to see where we've come, how far we've come. All right. And then my last section is just notes, the notes section. So I don't really need a divider for it. I rarely get into it, honestly. It's just kind of extra. And I want to use this really pretty, pretty, pretty divider and layering with vellum. That's so pretty. So here are some of the notes I use. I have these checklists. I have just regular line paper with flowers on them. These are all from Jane's Agenda as well. And some quad checklists. So there's those as well. I also have some dot grid. So you can see that. All right, so that is what I have. I think I'm gonna put this cover to protect. I need a back cover, so I'm just gonna stick this on her. And it still has, the, I still have the film on here. That's okay. So anyway, this is my setup for March. I think it looks adorable and very spring-like and I'm super excited to use it. And once I start using it, I will take this film off. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget, keep believing. Like and subscribe below. Love you guys. Bye. -bye.